And here we have the Snapdragon powered HP Windows 10 laptop. And hello, so who are you? Yeah, I'm Kevin with HP. And this is our NVX2. It's a Windows 10 laptop, Windows 10S in fact. And as a Windows 10 laptop, it runs Windows apps, all of those. But the interesting thing about it is it is a Snapdragon processor from Qualcomm. So what does Snapdragon get us? First thing is very, very thin. This is 6.9 millimeters thick. Very thin, very light. Next thing it gets us, believe it or not, I can watch up to 22 hours of full HD video on here on battery. Is this a full HD? It is a full HD display. So 22 hours at not a full brightness? Uh, 22 hours at 150 nits, about half brightness. Half brightness, yeah. But think of it, you're sitting on an airplane. You don't want it full brightness on an airplane. So you can basically watch video to any any destination in the world. It can go, uh, the longest destination is San Francisco to uh, Dubai or something. Yeah, That's and this is, hour flight. right, this is 22. You gotta stop and eat sometime too. Yeah. But another thing it can do is all of our all of the machines with this, it's 100% LTE. So that means if you get a subscription, you're always connected. Is this Even somewhere when, in here where you can see the, the LTE connection? Somewhere um, in the UI? And is it eSIM or there it says SIM? Yeah. You can insert a SIM card? Yeah. It has a SIM card socket on one side. It has a micro SD slot on the other, so you can add storage, or and you can put in a SIM card. But what it means is you can use connected modern standby, and that means as the computer is sleeping, it's always watching for incoming email, incoming alerts, anything like that. So even you put it to sleep, walk around, take a cab ride, anything like that. When you wake it back up again, everything is up to date. If you so if you close it down. Like this, yeah. Uh, and you hold it like this. Do you see any uh, LED uh, notifications no, you don't, you or won't anything see like any, that? You won't see any LED. So you just open it up, and it will be right there. Open it up, and it's ready to go. If you had your email app open, receiving email, it would have up-to-date email on it. It's a full-size, nice keyboard. It's a full-size keyboard, 1.3 millimeters of travel, so very, very typable. You can use it either at the upper angle or you can pull it down and use it flat if you prefer it that way. And it's a, a what's it called, a very nice big mouse pad? It's a very large trackpad, yeah. Um, the stand is a folding stand. So when it's closed, I fold it up and it protects the back of your machine. When I open it, I fold it down, and I can use it at quite a few different angles. So the stand makes it quite flexible to use at the angle you want. We've got Bang & Olufsen tuned audio, and the speakers are on either side of the display, so you get a nice stereo effect. And it's got a 5 megapixel camera facing you, and along with an IR camera, so you can use it with Windows Hello. But if you're the one, one of the people who likes to go out with your tablet and take photographs, it's got a 13 megapixel camera on the back. So this one has a lot more resolution. Great for taking pictures when you're walking around with it. 22 hour battery life. Um, can you install any X application? Any oh, Windows you can, app? You can install any, any uh, application from the Windows Store under Windows 10 S. If you have to install other applications, you can very easily switch from Windows 10 S to Windows 10 Pro. And in Windows 10 Pro, you can run any Windows application. So actually, it's not only S, it's Pro 2. Yeah, if you switch to Pro, you can switch to Pro for free. And uh, uh, you switch to Pro for free. Uh, what's it called? Uh, you can install any application that's 32-bit yes. from the Intel world of Windows. Yeah. yeah. And it's just going to emulate. What's the yeah. performance? The performance will be dropped a little bit on some applications because it has to emulate the Intel chipset. On the applications that are native to the Atom chipset or the Atom instruction set, no problems at all. Um, I actually installed Office and tried my, my work email on here at one point, it's and I was quite order, happy right? with it's it. It's for the Snapdragon 835. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So how soon is available? It's going to be available price? this spring, and we don't have pricing yet. All right. Uh, 
So right here, and this is so Snapdragon version, and then you have a, a slightly bigger Intel version right here. Yeah, we've got a version that we introduced at the at the, at the CES show. This one is using the Intel Y series processors. So the four and a half watt processor, we actually bumped up the power to about six watts. You get a little bit extra performance out of it. This one is slightly thicker. It's 7.9 millimeters. Yeah. So 6.9 versus 7.9. The Intel processor uses a little bit more power, but on this one we get nine, up to 19 hours of video playback. So still, you'll get to Dubai from San Francisco. Uh, how about the LTE? This one has LTE as an option. The Qualcomm version has 100% LTE. This one it's optional. So but we do have it, the micro SD slot. Good chance the Intel one will be a little bit more expensive, right? It's possible. We don't have we don't have pricing on this yet either. Right. Um, and the spring that means uh, it could be two or three months from now that this one is available. Yeah, they should both be available about the same time later this spring. Another thing about them is they have um, Gorilla Glass on the screens. They're, they're well protected from scratches and nicks and things like that. And something else I'd like to point out is that when you close up the case, both sides are protected. Your screen side as well as the back side, so you're not going to get scratches and nicks from dropping in your backpack. They both support pens. Is it Wacom? This is this is a, a Windows digitizer, so it's not Wacom. Okay, another kind of digitizer. You can take nice notes and some apps. Yeah, you can take nice notes. And it even recognizes from a distance from the screen. Yeah, it's got a little bit of hover distance, and you can use the buttons to do things like a right click versus left click. Right, and of course, store your store it in the pen loop that's on the keyboard. Cool.